you have understood how vital it is that knowledge should be more fairly distributed around the world. Used imaginatively, your network can help overcome the knowledge gap and so provide those imprisoned in poverty with the key to the gates of their prison. The Global Development Network, devoted to enhancing democratic governance at the local, national, and global levels, to promoting dialogue and to strengthening the processes of consensus building. The major objective of the Global Development Network, GDN, is to increase the quality of development policies so that the livelihood of millions of individuals and households can improve and so that the commitment to achieve the sustainable development goals uh, can meet with uh, concrete implementation and success. GDN is a network of networks and it's something that we've always prided ourselves in. GDN provides an opportunity for research networks from different parts of the world, whether it's Latin America, whether Africa, Asia, North America, Europe, to get together. Research in isolation from the real facts of what policymakers face may be good, but at the end of the day doesn't deliver what is needed. Knowledge is not a product that gets moved, it's a relational thing that is built between individuals and groups who work together over time. And if we can start to see knowledge that way, then how we move towards action um, is really quite a different process to just disseminating knowledge and trying to achieve impact. I was very impressed by the events that were shared here. First of all, the research is very important and people have been exchanging ideas on what has worked in other contexts, what are the theoretical expectations, what's the empirical evidence and what are the other engagements that can be used. And I think that has been very valuable. So these types of events are very good for that type of knowledge sharing. But secondly, for networking across researchers who are thinking about the same issues, being able to, to bring the their, their ideas together to a level of, of a bigger voice that can be heard then by policy makers and other decision makers on the continent. We need really people within countries able to analyze problems, to find evidence, to read the existing literature on an issue and then to give a, a good advice and a wise, a knowledgeable advice to governments. The GDN has curated more than a dozen annual conferences all over the world. And we focus on essential issues of development. GDN is very successful bringing in, getting people together. And after three days of uh, you know, discussion through plenaries and uh, parallel sessions and special sessions, I believe, I expect some kind of chemical reaction among the stakeholders. confluence of ideas and opinions um, from very different and diverse entities, representatives of organizations looking at the matter of resilience from different perspectives. Yeah, I must say that uh, one of the papers that I happened to read was striking and um, I want to congratulate the authors of that paper. I was discussing with my colleague how we can take the results of that exercise forward. I have the opportunity to rethink my research proposal and come up with a better uh, research design in order to respond to my research question. And I can make sure that the contribution that I can make through this research will be um, 
more pertinent and also more usable for the policymakers. Because of GDN's motivation and encouragement, we are able to take off and develop research culture in the campus. And as a result of this, we are getting a big space like this. And we are hopeful that the research will grow. So I just, I just want to say that these awards are an awesome opportunity for researchers around the world to get inspired, to question their world, to look for solutions, to change the world. So keep on, please, with these awards. They are very motivating. It's advanced a lot, but lo que nos falta por avanzar es todavía muchísimo más. I don't know how to distinguish uh, myself when you're in the Beethoven Saal, but given that it is the Beethoven Saal, I thought I might say to it. Perhaps there's not enough time.